When working 12 to 14 hour days aboard the International Space Station, caffeine is well a must for many astronauts. On average, an astronaut may consume about 100 milligrams of caffeine per day. That's equivalent to one cup of coffee, two cups of tea, or about one can of a typical energy drink. But in space, they can't just pour a cup of joe. To get their morning brew, astronauts typically sip from a plastic pouch through a straw. However, astronaut Don Pettit wanted the comforting feeling of sipping from a mug in his hand. So he invented another way, the Zero Gravity Cup, also known as the Space Cup. The cup relies on surface tension and the laws of physics to keep the liquid in place, enabling the drinker to take spill-free sips. Just how does the Space Cup work? In microgravity, liquids will form in globs, or bubbles. So to keep coffee from floating away, the Space Cup's specially designed shape ensures that as crew members sip, the liquid flows through an angled channel, creating an experience like drinking from a mug on Earth. But there's a wrinkle, getting the water for their brew. Aboard the space station, crew members actually need to turn yesterday's coffee into today's coffee. They use a water dispensing unit that takes recycled liquids and the moisture gathered from the air to provide hot potable water for the crew. Then they will take a plastic pouch loaded with freeze-dried coffee grounds, connect it to the unit, and fill the pouch with hot water. From there, crew members can sip their fresh java. Now one big question looms for the future. Exactly how much coffee would be enough to sustain a mission to Mars?